The biggest lessons I've learned in my life are here. Through different topics, I'm going to inspire and motivate you to reach your success and your dreams. I'm so grateful that you're here on Journey to Success. So let's enjoy my next episode together. A few years ago, a 24-year-old boy seeing out from the train's window shouted, Dad, look, the trees are going behind us. As his dad smiled, a young couple sitting nearby looked at the 24 year oldest childish behavior with pity, when suddenly he again exclaimed, Dad, look, the clouds are running with us. The couple couldn't resist and say to the old man, Why don't you take your son to see a good doctor? The old man smiled and said, I did, and uh, we're just coming from the hospital. My son was blind from birth, and just he got his eyes today. Hi guys, my name is Fabio from Journey to Success, and welcome. Today I started with this beautiful story, and we're going to also to analyze in a while. Of course, it's not my story. I watched these uh, uh, shorts, or it was a video from YouTube, and then I, I checked better, and uh, I realized that the full real story has been written by this uh, person, Coach Mueller, from mygoodtimestories.com, so if you like to have a check, uh, you're more than welcome to give, um, you know, uh, this credit uh, to him, also from your side. And uh, it's a beautiful story. I love the story. I love the story because... Uh, it teaches us a lot of things. First of all, the story is about, uh, as you as you realize already, is about uh, um, judge. We judge too much. That's the reality. We judge too much, and uh, the truth is that if you judge too much, today I'm on fire. I'm very in fire, but I mean, if you judge too much, guys, it means you are not very focused on yourself. It means you are not focused on your self-development. You are not focused on your self-growth. Because I promise you that as soon as you become very focused with yourself, then you don't have time to criticize other people. You don't have time to judge as much as you are focused and you are focused on yourself, on your self grow, your self development, first of all, you learn how to improve yourself. Your mindset is going to become uh, uh, better than the medium, medium average. Second of, the, second of all, you're not going to have the time to judge or criticize. Hmm? Very important point. And... Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, as I wrote here on my notes, it's like um, uh, when we judge someone, right? It's like you see only 2% of the iceberg. So you can judge, of course, but you judge only what you see. And what you see is only the the hint of the iceberg. So you don't know the story of that person. You don't know why he's doing what he's doing. You don't know anything about it. You know what you see. And what you see is not what you think. Okay. The second point is a personal example. A personal example, it's actually more a, an example uh, common of all of us, right? Um, when we take a car, when we take a car and, uh, you know, we are on the way, uh, maybe busy, maybe yes, maybe no. But the point is that sometimes, how many times? Sometimes 
you know, there is a, there was a driver uh, close to you that maybe wasn't respecting so much the rules and somehow was on your way, hmm? disturbing your flow. And how many times you cursed to that driver, to that, to, to that car? Well, just think about it and stop for a moment. Just reason with this uh, thought. What if the driver was actually running from the hospital because he discovered that he had um, a serious illness, maybe a cancer? And what he, what he was doing was just take the car as soon as possible and, you know, drive as fast as he could to uh, to escape from uh, this new reality who has to face, unfortunately. Just think about it, you know. Think when uh, you face situations like that. Think when... Uh, um, there are situations where people are stopping you or they are angry with you for some reason. And the reason probably it's not because of you or because you did something wrong, but simply because they have some problem. And uh, you are the big guy here. You have to understand. Not what is the problem. That's not your business. But you have to understand that there is something bigger than you in that moment. Hmm? And you have to let it go. Third point. Control. See, we can control things and we cannot control things, right? So, Talking about a cancer, it's something that we cannot control. We cannot control. Uh, uh, we cannot control things that we cannot control. Of course, if your mindset is big enough, if your, you know, if your uh, energy and uh, your being is uh, developed enough, of course, you are uh, capable also to respond to difficult situations like a cancer. But I don't want to go there because I know it's hard. And uh, when you have a illness that you cannot control as much as you want to respond, you know, in a good behavior, at the end, it's something that you cannot control. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. This is something that we cannot control. But what about the things that we can control? We can control so many things. If you think about it, it's everything about the things that we, we can control, yeah? It's everything inside our brain. Everything is inside our mind. We are the architect of what we think. We can control it. Whatever you're thinking right now, whatever you think you cannot control, maybe... Someone uh, broke up with you. Maybe you had a problem with your parents. Maybe you had serious problem with your uh, partner. Uh, maybe your uh, uh, you had a problem with house. Maybe everything you know. How many things happen around us? It's about how you respond to these things. It's about how you respond to the difficulties. So there are things that you can control. You can control your environment. You can control your emotions. You can control your, uh, you know, your, your energy, everything that happened inside you and around you. Why all of that? Why all of this? You know, this, as you know, this uh, podcast, uh, this, uh, this uh, YouTube channel um, and social media, <laughs> everything is about um, a journey to success. 
and uh, I don't want to do the guru of the situation, you know, I'm not a motivational speaker or something like that. But, I mean, it's very easy to talk about um, discipline, uh, persistence, consistency, inspiration. <laughs> I mean, it's very easy, you know, to use these beautiful words. But at the end of the story, guys, uh, if you don't have an empty mind from uh, external environments that somehow can... Uh, disturb your flow to reach your success to reach your dreams to reach your goals then uh, then you don't go that far okay so i hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, thank you guys for being here in a journey to success of course if you like the uh, topic topics like this please just put a like share a comment uh, share the episode and see you in the next uh, in the next uh, one. <laughs> Cheers. Here we are. Congratulations. You just finished my entire episode. So the only thing I ask is to take a moment to give Journey to Success a rating. By the way, thank you so much for being here on Journey to Success. I'm very grateful. Thank you and see you next time.